This is a film about air freight. As you see, it begins at a breakfast table, but it might have started anywhere. For so many things we daily use are brought within our reach by this most modern form of transport, by air. This was shipped by air, and this was shipped by air. This too was shipped by air. Air freight at home, and this is the home of air freight. Schiphol Airport, near Amsterdam, in the very heart of Holland, port of entry, exit, and transit of the whole world, where KLM Royal Dutch Airlines handle annually 15,000 tons of freight. KLM handle every conceivable form of air freight, even freight that's really passengers. Here is a KLM representative coming to meet a whole load of VIPs, stopping over in the KLM hotel on their way to Canada, the delegates to a Congress of Linguists. And here's the board of directors of a big company doing business in tropical timber. They're on a sightseeing tour to New York to see the Empire State Building, Central Park, and the zoo, of course. And this is the KLM Animal Hotel, right on the platform. This is typical KLM service. The guests are met at the door by the manager himself. Come in, please. Welcome to Amsterdam. Yes, your rooms are reserved. With that? Oh, definitely. Board and lodging are free, and no tips, please. The chef himself will see to your special diet. Some more hors d'oeuvre, madame? Dinner is served, gentlemen. When I asked this young cat from Siam, are you satisfied with KLM? She just nodded and said, yes, I am. This is a very fast horse indeed. He likes traveling at 320 miles per hour. And right now, he's going to make a flying start. Closely followed by Galloping Knight and War Hero. Golden Boy, the favorite, is nowhere. They're going into the first turn now, and in a terrific burst of speed, here comes Watto forging ahead. Horses, parrots, and monkeys travel by air. But that's only one aspect of air freight, for your cargo carrier is more than the link between the jungle and the zoo. It is the worldwide link between producer and consumer. Producers of radio sets built in Holland today, playing in India tomorrow. और छोटी-छोटी मोरों के जरिए से जहाजों, कश्तियों, रेलगाड़ी के डिब्बों और मोटरों को ऐसी होशियारी से बंद कर देते हैं कि सरकारी मसूल की जो आसानी से Flowers too have taken to the air. Flowers cut today in the hot houses of that Dutch metropolis of flowers, Alsmeer and for sale in New York tomorrow. Other flowers that will not fade even while worn in a hot climate overseas. A slow cascade of flowers streaming down the press in wintry England, Holland or Germany today shipped by air and worn tomorrow under a glaring tropical sun on the other side of the globe. This is not exactly meant for wear in the tropics, 
The furs of the beautiful creatures that once roamed the wilds of Canada until Indian or white trappers brought them to one of the many posts of the mighty Hudson Bay Company will travel by air to Antwerp to adorn the shoulders of other beautiful creatures. Canvas, paint, and inspiration on the wing. Pictures of the greatest value now fly from continent to continent, over deserts and mountain ranges, across oceans and jungles, to further international understanding through the common sense of beauty. Now, what art is he thinking of? The art of painting lobsters or the art of cooking them? Whatever it is, painted or cooked, dead or alive, the modern lobster is a bird. It flies, and here is the nest where it's landed. Fashion, too, is airborne nowadays. All over the world, manufacturers of ready-made clothes ship their products by air, enabling even those living in the remotest corners of the globe to keep up with the pace of fashion and to be up to date in their dress. As you may have guessed, Havana cigars are manufactured in Havana, the pearl of Cuba. Handmade, all of them, packed with care, shipped with care, handled with care while going by air, just to give this gentleman in the Far East a real smoke after dinner. You do smell that cigar, of course, but can you smell the atmosphere of Paris? No? Try again. Here is sent for you to be sent by air wherever women have taste and men have noses. Parisian perfumes, French fragrance, flying anywhere you say from the cradle of the haute couture, where the stern dictators of fashion ordain what our wives shall wear and we shall pay for. Nothing changes quicker than fashion. Up to date today, out of date tomorrow. And so, as fashion is a short-lived as spring itself, the Parisian haute couture sends its spring collections by air. KLM's freight department is working under high pressure as goods fly back and forth from continent to continent and papers from desk to desk. Goods for Rio, Montreal, Sydney, Havana, Calcutta, Montevideo, Johannesburg, Tokyo, New York, and Dakar. Whether it's in Montreal, in the deafening roar of New York's air or street traffic, or in Calcutta, KLM's freightmen are on the spot, even if that spot is pretty muddy. All you see is just a KLM truck or car in Paris, or Bangkok, or KLM offices in the four corners of the world, where goods are shipped and delivered, all plain sailing, smooth and easy, but behind it is a steady activity of men at work to control the flow of airborne freight. Let's just stop for a moment to have a look at KLM's freight department in Calcutta. The aspect of men and things is different from country to country, but the work is the same and is accomplished everywhere with the same quiet efficiency born from KLM's long experience. Handle with care, it says on many goods, and handled with care, KLM always do. Mind your tail, sir. And so the work goes on. 
a tiger from India on its way to Stockholm, Rio de Janeiro, or Dublin, a young elephant from Ceylon, leaving for New York, New Zealand, or Rome. our special corps of elephant stewards, picked people, all of them. Air Freight was born in 1920, together with KLM carrying newspapers on its first flight to London. Next came light goods, such as flowers, bulbs, pictures, and eggs. Now, if you want to learn how to handle air freight, begin with eggs and handle all goods with the same care as KLM do. To the men of KLM, electromotors, radio sets, dresses, racehorses, medicaments, and elephants are just eggs, all of them. Under the breath of the trade wind, wherever blowing over the Caribbean islands, or in the nipping cold of Newfoundland, the freighters of the air never rest. this? Not an SOS, is it? No, apparently it's not as bad as all that. Still, it's bad enough. The ship is unable to move under her own power. A piston has broken. And help must come, not from those fateful three letters SOS, but from those famous initials KLM. Send that cable at once. We must have a new piston by the first plane. And by the first plane, it comes. Yes, Captain, it's on its way. It's coming by KLM. But in the meantime, work goes on in Calcutta on the other side of the globe. For rain or shine, hot or cold, the constant flow of airborne goods of every description goes on night and day. Freight flies everywhere along the roaring highways of the skies. The airplane has become a pack horse of the air, but it is a racing pack horse linking continent to continent north to south and east to west, thus bringing us back to Schiphol Airport again, the shunting yard of airborne cargo. Cargo with a hundred destinations, all served by KLM, has to reach these without fault. Cultured pearls arrived from Japan must be reshipped to Mexico City. Dutch oysters travel directly to Persia, but Persian rugs change planes here en route to Buenos Aires. Hollywood $1 million productions travel by transatlantic airlift from the United States by way of Amsterdam to Madrid, Athens, Helsinki, or Frankfurt. Diamonds from South Africa for the jewelers in Stockholm, and machinery from Sweden for the mines of South Africa. Just packages and boxes to you being shifted from one shelf to another. Just a man maneuvering his lift truck on solid ground. And yet, this is the shunting yard of goods traveling by air. And here is the last word in air freight. The Douglas DC-6A Liftmaster, flown by KLM wherever you say. 
cargo ship of the skies with a capacity of 24,000 pounds and a hold that will carry bulldozers or books, hairpins or microscopes. Loading is an art in itself. The captain must know how his cargo is stowed to be able to start safely. And the loading clerk must know what the total load consists of to be able to stow the cargo in the right way. Anybody interested in shipping a car? Just say the word, the liftmaster will take it. And now, as the loading of the liftmaster is being completed and the nets over the neatly arranged cargo are secured to keep it in place, the captain comes for the stowing plan of his plane to check and to sign it. Take your time, Captain. And so, goods from a thousand producers will take off to nobody knows how many millions of consumers. freight serves humanity, and by its speed may sometimes stave off even the hand of death itself. Once, epidemics in faraway lands meant endless suffering and death to thousands who had no hope. But today, there is hardly a spot in the world to which life itself can't be rushed by air to those whose life is already ebbing. Yeah. 
But in the meantime, the stagecoaches and express riders of the air fly on distributing the goods, for air freight spans the globe day and night. Machines and toys travel by air. Beauty and learning are airborne. Food and amusements go flying. Fish and flowers are on the wing. Good news and bad news take the skyway. Gold and diamonds take off. Presents and samples sail through the heavens. For air freight spans the globe. Air freight pays. For shipping your goods by air means less packing material, less storage room, and lower insurance premiums. Only 12 hours between his morning paper and his evening paper. But in that short time, freight of every conceivable description has crossed continents and oceans by air. Jewelry and foodstuffs shipped by air. Beautiful fresh flowers like these. Watches and medicaments all flown in by KLM. Silver, glass and china shipped by air newspapers and letters, air freight, all of it. Air freight reaches you where and when you want it. And so day and night, KLM's freighters continue to maintain the great airlift between producer and consumer. KLM will fly most things to most places. <laughs>